Today, let's talk about why the Bitcoin looks really suspicious. We're going to break down the Bitcoin from beginning to the end. So end of this video, you will have a clear understanding towards what's going on in the market. And most important, I'll try to keep it as simple as possible and explain some difficult things with simple language. So let's go to the market and let's break down why the Bitcoin looks really suspicious. And basically, uh, in previous videos, I was talking about that we are in, diff in uh, global correction. So what kind of global correction it is? On the higher time frame, if we're going to break down this move, over here right we are seeing that we had some kind of bear market right massive impulse down after we have some kind of bounce right uh, what indicates that this is was the bounce because uh, first of all here we have one confirmation that this is correction is that uh, divergence between price and volumes and when you are seeing that volumes are increasing and price is decreasing this is unharmonious market move so it cannot continues forever so somewhere we're gonna catch the bottom so basically we did catch the uh, local bottom I would say right around like fifteen thousand dollars, sixteen thousand dollars. We had some massive splash of volumes, and only after that we had some kind of bounce. But uh, what happens next? Uh, one of the biggest problem what I see on the markets right now that we are bouncing, but we, there is no uh, understandable impulsive structure. So basically, we cannot break down it. It's like a we one, two, three, four, five, and this is cannot be like a, for example. For example, this is the uh, global wave one two and after gonna be some kind of uh, um, the massive wave three right uh, kind of the bull market as we can say right because this scenario is not suits for with other conditions so we, we are not putting those waves just randomly each wave has its own uh, condition and all of these things uh, must to match first before we kind of have a, a moral right to say that this is impulse or something like that, right? So basically, what we are seeing the first of all, what this that this is not an impulse that after this bounce, the massive bounce, right? I would say on a high time frame, we are still seeing the divergence that volumes are decreasing and the price is increasing. So basically, this is also an harmonious market move. So this is kind of the indicate indicates us that we are still in the correction. So basically, in what kind of correction we are let's break it down today and let's talk about what kind of correction it can be so basically if this movement is some kind of uh, for example we cannot break down this movement like this here's the way one two three four five because wave four is too deep in this scenario right so basically we have one a scenario which one is really a little bit painful but still we cannot ignore this movement because uh, on the Bitcoin especially in crypto space there's really often happening that there's the wrong corrections and what is the wrong correction means it means when we see some kind of uh, a B C D and E something such kind of when we are seeing so basically this scenario looks very very uh, solid on the Bitcoin but this is not the one of the single uh, scenario because the it can be a little bit different wrong corrections as well but what we know we know that um, this wave A happened with A B C correction in subwave right if we're gonna break down this wave A we are seeing clearly here's the wave A B and C, right? So because we know that this is ABC, Elliot's waves, and when you're le uh, learning the Elliot's waves correctly, not just the random waves which are the most of the people using and <laughs> losing the money, the real waves which are adapted to this current market is telling us that if wave A happened, um, the correction like a ABC, right? Uh, then ro uh, the whole correction, I mean this all the blue which on I mark it over here, gonna be wrong, right? So and if the for example, wave A have uh, been five impulsive wave structure, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, or something like that, right? Then it will be uh, right harmonious correction. Uh, it means A, B, and C, right? So basically, uh, this is the one of the indicator how we can uh, recognize uh, what is going on in the market. But here we can see clearly that here's like a A, B, C structure correction. We uh, we are seeing that really clearly because in the most splash of volumes happen on the end of the move. So it means because the wave C usually A, B, and C, wave C is the most impulsive wave and it always contains more volumes than in the previous waves, right? So this is indicates that here happened A, B, C correction, right? Here happened some kind of A, B, C correction. And right now we are still in some kind of 
a b and c correction so this is creates for us globally the wrong correction so basically this is the one of the scenario which one we are seeing but wrong correction can be any kind of direction it's also happened this is which one i marked over here and you're seeing this picture this is a looks like triangle i know the most of you been learning this triangle right triangle pattern right here the when the prices start to squeeze into the uh, price range right and creates for us some kind of uh, correctional uh, structure right and only after this when the price start to squeeze we are seeing the continuation of the previous impulse right uh, in our scenario what we are seeing that uh, wrong correction also possibly it's not only triangle it's also possible that it will be some kind of uh, bull flag like something such kind of also very possible right so this is why the uh, wrong corrections are usually very difficult to trade and difficult to analyze the market right but what we can see we can uh, the wrong correction to trade is pretty difficult but uh, we have some instruments how we can indicate where is the most likely will be um, that specific wave some kind of correction or reversal right in current situation what we are seeing that uh, we are getting close to our the major resistance and this major resistance I will mark once again over here because the price was bounced from here and been accumulate in this area right so basically from this area we are expecting some kind of reversal and what does it mean it's not means that if we will enter into to this uh, box we're going to short the market and we're going to sell the bitcoins but if there will be in this zone of high attention we will have some more confirmation some kind of fractal formation uh, extreme candles about the extreme candles uh, and all of these things i made a educational video you can check in the link link in the description below as well so here uh some other conditions as mpi combinations like fibonacci levels like volumes and magdis and all of things if in this box there will be like some kind of enough confirmation to uh there it means it we will enter the short and i will give you the signal right but before it happens we are just watching and uh, watching as closer we go to this area right first of all we touched that area we had some kind of a response from the weekly time frame as well you can see this red candle over there so basically it means this area Area is something going on over there and we cannot ignore it right so this is why we are patiently waiting for some kind of correction so how to identifying is it will be the triangle like it will be triangle or it will be the bull flag right uh, basically there is no such a thing as identification of what kind of it will be until it forms right only after formation we will can we can say that uh, there is ha there happens some kind of pattern right but before it happens uh, what we need to do is just a trade and just a trade carefully and what does what do i mean by uh, trade carefully it means we need to lowering our risks and uh, lowering our expectations as well because the wrong corrections fourth waves or second way is because uh, this is this correction on the high time frame can be as a we want two and after three massive global wave three right so but what i suggest you to when you are trading in a correction waves it doesn't matter on a high time frame smaller time frame or whatever time frame it is you need to be careful to trade right and a very good time to invest in some some in markets in altcoins or whatever it is right in that asset so basically in the correctional move i highly suggest you to lowering your risks put your risk on the minimum if you're trading like five percent from your deposit lower it to the one percent and if you trade the one percent then lower it to the 0 0.5 0 0.6 or around this area right so basically uh, what we need to see on the high time frames is formation of the reversal candle if there won't be any reversal then we can say that we can go higher because uh, as well do not forget the wrong correction can hit uh, as well all-time highs over here we can hit and only after that have some kind of reversal so this is why the bitcoins looks really suspicious and very very tricky one and you need to be really careful so right now let's deep dive into a um, smaller time frame and let's break down what's going on over there because sometimes on a smaller time frame you can answer the questions what's going on in a higher time frame but before we move to the smaller time frame uh one suggestion i want to give you here that i do not suggest you to invest the bitcoin right now and i don't suggest you to some kind of sell your bitcoin right now if you did accumulate some where your bitcoins just hold it and keep it in your portfolio and just wait because it is not good time to uh, take your profits and it's good time to invest because we are in an uptrend and to take an invest is not really good on the correction if we will have some kind of reversal from this area right uh, around like thirty thousand dollar for example twenty five thousand dollar twenty thousand dollar and fifteen thousand 
$1,000. These areas are really good to invest and the market telling us that these zones are protected really, really massively. So this is what I suggest you on a high time frame. So right now, let's deep dive into the four hour, four hour time frame and let's break down what is going on here. And one more really important, what I was talking about uh, on the small, small time frame on the previous Videos, we're gonna break down why the Bitcoin still looks suspicious on the small time frame as well. So basically, the main scenario what we are seeing on a four-hour time frame is like this: here's the wave one, two, here's the wave three. Right now, we're expecting the uh, global correction. I mean, the middle global correction, right? And only after that, the massive wave five. Something such kind of we are expecting on the higher time frames, right? Uh, but uh, if we're gonna break down this wave three, we also have five impulsive wave structure here. You can see wave one, two. Uh, three, four, and five. So basically, this is one of the confirmation that we reached that uh, peak of the wave three, right? And right now we're in a wave four. So basically, I did open the short position on the high time frame. I did give this signal in my Telegram club as well. If you want to trade with me, jump in until we have or still it's uh, not kind of private. I'm soon gonna make this group private. So the people who entered right now is gonna be for free forever for you. So link in the description below uh, and jump in. So basically here I gave this signal that I opened the short positions and right now it's really looks tricky, but uh, listen me and hear me out really clearly. So basically what is going on? Uh, wave four, usually wave four, happens the wrong correction. Wrong correction, it means we don't know what kind of uh, pattern it will create, but most scenario is very, very seldom happens that wave four happen like a, B, and C clear correction because wave four is manipulative wave and it's kind of the selling to uh, at any prices. It means like uh, after this massive uh, wave, we need to distribute those coins, right? So uh, basically the people who bought from you from this area, they pump the price higher and right now they need to distribute. And because of this distribution phase, uh, there is a lot of manipulations and that's why you are very often see some kind of like chops over there and it's create some, uh, I mean, unpredictable pr uh, price action, right? But it is doesn't mean that you cannot trade, you can trade just as I mentioned previously, lower your expectations and lower your risks. So basically right now, I think we are still in the way four, we have all more right to say that we are in a way four, but uh, and in way four, there's often some uh, like wrong signals, and I think that this is happening right now as well. Because uh, look at this scenario over here yes, we entered the short positions from this area around the uh, here, right? And the price start to squeeze, right? Start to squeeze into this resistance, which one is over here. And as you know, when uh, when we are retesting the resistance uh, often, most likely we're gonna break that resistance higher. So so uh, what did I do? First of all, I lowering my uh, risks over here. You can see that I'm trading only with 1% of my deposit. And plus I'm using the very uh, low leverage as well. I'm using just a 5x, right? That, that's all. I'm not using more on this trade. Uh, and this is why I feel comfortable to not close my positions as well. Because basically I know, yeah, my, my stop losses is around... Um, around, let me show you, around $45,000, around this area, right? So basically, I wouldn't say that this is perfect stop loss, but I don't care because I have a really low um, kind of risks, right? And I know this is way four, very, very, it will be very simple if we're gonna see yeah, we are distributing over here and a lot of people are expecting like uh, like something such kind of, right? And only after that we will go lower. Yes, of course, no problem. I will take my loss because uh, it is fine for me. I, I don't trade the really high risks of, on this trade, right? But same time, why I'm not closing this position? Because I know this is way four and it's usual happens that not gonna happen such kind of things and we uh, simply can go just down, right? It's very, very possible because this is way four and all these expectations, all your analysis, everything, whatever you're using, doesn't matter, smart money, Elliott's waves, fractals or Fibonacci or whatever you are using, doesn't matter. If this is wave four and this is correctional structure in the phase of distribution, there will be a lot of manipulation. So this is why I lowered my risks uh, in every possible scenario ha as I can, right? And mm, and just let it the, the probability work out. If it will stop, watch my stop losses, it's fine, right? Because, and uh, I have expectation that you will will go higher because of course everybody's seeing that we are going uh, to that resistance like uh, trying to break that resistance and most likely yes we will bro break
break that resistance. But because we are in a wave four, this is makes me more confident to be and not close this position and give it uh, give it a try because I know every time when you're trading in a wave four, the market telling you and tries to scares you and tries you to uh, makes you like so something like uh, uh, paranoid in your brain. You know, so this is why I highly suggest you if you're trading the wave four, lower your ex ex expectation, lower your risks, and just give it a give it a try. And when you are seeing some markets like oh it's time to do right now it's something happening do not trust the market because here's a lot of manipulation so this is why i don't trust the market in this area but basically we see we are seeing that some kind of impulse be, uh, begun over here right over there especially volumes also are increasing uh, we get to that resistance area as well and we start to trying to break it break it and break it and yes everybody knows that uh, most likely we will break but because we are in globally in wave four I'll not, I'm not going to close these positions at all. So this is what I'm thinking about the market on a smaller time frame. So basically, a uh, usual scenario that wave four, let me talk about the targets of the wave four. If we are still right and this scenario is correct, where I'm expecting the Bitcoin's price uh, around this wave four. Basically, wave four reached, if we're going to take a Fibonacci put on the beginning of the wave three and end of the wave three over there, right? The levels for the Bitcoin is usually 0.3 to 0.7. So this is the area, the correctional area. But most likely prices comes to 0.5 to 0.6. This is the area where the uh, corrections comes usually. So this is where I'm expecting the, um, the end of the wave four. As we will reach this area, around this area, right? Here we need to see more confirmation. Splash of volumes, formation of the fractal. On the smaller time frame, we need to see wave one after wave two. And only after that, we will end enter some kind of trade and we'll take our profits if there will be the things what I want to see around this area right somewhere in this area only after that we will enter the trade and take those trades so if you want to follow my trades and if you want to hear me out over here I highly suggest you to jump in our telegram club I made already the public telegram channel uh, I will post the link as well over there and soon I'm gonna close my private uh, telegram club so I highly suggest you to jump in so I got the two uh, channels right now one is uh, club and the second one is my channel so basically uh, jump in do not forget about that so if you like my analysis i highly su uh, suggest you to subscribe to this channel press that likes and put some comments if you have uh, any question i'll try to answer it fully uh, and i'm not gonna miss any of your question if you get get really great question you can ask me and uh the people who already subscribe to my channel thank you so much it motivates me a lot to create for you some crazy new content we are already 1000 so as i said as we will cross this 1000 there will be a lot of excited news so as you can see see uh we are here and see you in the next videos and bye bye